Hello, and welcome to another edition of What You're Reading. Today's topic is for all those murderinos or true crime fans out there. The first book that I have to recommend is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Ellingham Academy is the best school there is, and in 1936, the founder's wife and child go missing. Fast forward to today. The disappearance of the Ellinghams is still unsolved, but Stevie Bell is going to change that. While her classmates were admitted based on their academic prowess or artistic talent, she got in because of her vast knowledge of true crime. Will Stevie and her new friends solve the case of the century? Warning, this ends on a huge cliffhanger, so you might want to have the second one, The Vanishing Stair, ready to go. This one is great if you're into true crime because it does name drop a lot of things like my favorite murder, other uh, mystery writers, Agatha Christie, Dorothy Parker, and it mixes in all of that great, uh, the, all the great elements of things that, that you might like in a mystery and true crime without being overly gory or graphic or anything like that. I would highly recommend this if you like mysteries or anything even slightly related to true crime. My second recommendation is The Sacred of Minnow Bly by Stephanie Oakes. This recommendation does come with a bit of a content warning. There is a fairly graphic depiction of some violence where Minnow loses her hands. Um, you do get plenty of warning before that happens, so if that's not your thing, you can easily skip over that, um, and I don't think you really lose out on anything. The story itself uh, starts in the present, where Minnow is being sent to juvenile detention for assault. We know a few things. Her hands have been cut off. She's escaped something horrific. She viciously attacks someone, and the prophet is dead. Slowly, over the, the course of the novel, Minnow will relate her story to her new roommate, Angel, and Detective Wilson. This story is a mix of cults and prisons, and it's loosely based off of a fairy tale of a girl with no hands. Um, and of course, there's a murder. My last recommendation is Nazi Hunters, How a Team of Spies and Survivors Captured the World's Most Notorious Nazis by Neil Basco. Uh, it's nonfiction, and if it sounds familiar, it's because very recently it was made into a movie starring Oscar Isaac and Ben Kingsley, which is such a good pairing. In 1945, at the end of World War II, Adolf Eichmann, the head of operations for the Nazis' final solution, walked into the mountains of Germany and vanished from view. Sixteen years later, an elite team of spies captured him at a bus stop in Argentina and smuggled him to Israel, resulting in one of the century's most important trials, one that cemented the Holocaust in the public imagination. This is a great narrative nonfiction that reads just like a spy thriller, and it tells the story of what happens in those intervening 16 years. Um, it the whole, the whole tip-off came from a young girl and her blind father. It's full of twists and turns and will they be successful, which you might kind of know how it ends, but the journey of how they get there is great. One of the team of the spies is so good at reproducing things that he can hand draw letters that look just like they came off a typewriter, which is nuts to me. I just can't even fathom having that kind of talent. Um, it's a great read and I highly, highly recommend it. Let me know either in the comments or you can uh, comment on our Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter accounts. Use the hashtag ACL at home and we will see it. Thank you.